All right, good. Call the meeting of the town council together for the purpose of our public hearing this afternoon. Uh, we're going to uh, conduct a public hearing on our proposed CDBG project grant and adopt resolutions that implement our actions today. Mr. David Fox. Thank you very much. I'm David Fox with Fred Fox Enterprise. This is a second advertised second public hearing for a 2022-2023 CDBG, CDBG Community Development Block Grant application. The city is looking at applying in the neighborhood revitalization category. The grant amount proposes to apply for is six hundred thousand uh, dollars. Town of Warsaw plans to apply to Florida Department of Economic Opportunity for federal fiscal year 2022 small cities community development block grant 2022 or 2023 um, in the amount of six hundred thousand. The proposed project falls under service area number one is O3F, and that's the category under the grant parks and playgrounds. It's for Rogers Community Center slash Town Park currently contains an open air pavilion, kitchen and restrooms. The proposed the project proposed in this application is the construction of additional amenities which will enhance Rogers Community Center and Town Park further. Additional amenities include lighting, wiring, central hearing, central heating and air is a type of there. <laughs> Bathrooms, kitchen, and handicap accessible. Ability. Additionally, the town is proposing to dry in the existing open area of the center for future events as well as new parking, gazebo, fencing, and signage. The service area of this project includes all the residential housing units in the town. We previously did a door-to-door -door survey and determined a random survey and determined that you met the LMI threshold. The location of Rogers Park is 3484 Washington Street, Wausau, Florida. Uh, the town anticipates it will take approximately 30 months for the project to be completed. Uh, the budget is as follows, and this is an estimated budget. The parks and playgrounds, CDG amount will be $465,000. There's zero match associated with this project. Engineering and parks and playgrounds is $87,000 estimated. Once again, there's zero match associated with this project. Administration is $48,000 estimated with zero match, so the total project will be $600,000. If funds are remaining after the project is bid out, the town has proven further, further enhancements to Rogers Community Center by assault and playground equipment. Um, there's a sign sheet going around. Everybody will sign in. And uh, Mayor, if you open up for public comment. Is there any public comment? Hearing none, Mr. Fox. Are there any? Go ahead, sir. Okay, no, I was just uh, hearing none. We'll close the public comment section and uh, I do have, uh, and I know that you was reading there, and this will stand to be proved, and you found the word hearing instead of heating, but the Rogers uh, is spelled incorrectly, and on that address, did you, where did you get that? Did you get that from the 911 office? I think I got it from me. Okay. Uh, I don't think that's going to be a Washington Street address. Your address off of the street that you access it by, and you don't come off of 77 onto the park, you come off on... Buster Rogers. I always went by the property appraiser. Mm -hmm. It's on. Uh, yeah. If, if it makes a difference. If yeah, for application purposes and the ad included the address, I believe, mm -hmm. let's stick with that address. And if right. it changes, then we will notify DEO this. But right. it's at that location right there at the corner. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would just. And what's the special, the, uh, the correct spelling of Rogers? Without the D. Okay. R O G E R S. Mm -hmm. And we just talking about having somebody just watching everything close to it. And I didn't know if that would make a difference on the on the. Uh, it, uh, I mean, if it was we were way across town or something, or next to the wrong parcel, I think we're at the right parcel. You're at the right parcel. It's just we went by the yeah. one or the. I the records. If you find something different, then let us know. Okay. Does the council have a for me? Okay. Uh, hearing none, we'll close the public hearing. We'll open our special meeting for the purpose of enacting the resolutions. Uh, we need to enact re resolution number 2023-001 and resolution 2023-002. Madam Clerk, you need to read those to us or do it by title. 
Do it by time. Do it by time. Uh, 2023 resolution authorizing the submission of an application for the Small Cities Community Development Grant to the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity for Federal Fiscal Year 2022. And this is uh, authorizing us to continue the execution of the grant sale. Do it one at a time. One at a time. Okay. What's the council's uh, pleasure on resolution 2023 001? Can I make one comment? Yes. Um, just to, and I'm going to clarify this tomorrow, but we may want to add a note for the record that it's going to be 2022 and not funded in 2023. That way we'll have to come back and present it to you again. No, but our resolution will be 2023 because we're enacting it today. Oh, we got okay, I'm just saying where it says. Um, you got it for the fiscal year 2022. And it possibly could be for the 2023 fiscal year grant grant funding. If they just didn't get funded this time, you decide to turn it around, uh -huh. then you would already have the. That's up to you guys. We can, can we always go it? back and do another resolution. Slash 2023? Can we do yes, it slash? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we agree. Okay. Uh, Bill, are you looking at the resolutions? Yes, I am. Okay, what we're talking about is uh, where the last line says opportunity for fiscal federal fiscal year 2022 we're going to put 2022 slash 2023 if, if we pass this resolution is that acceptable with the other members okay then what's the pleasure we will accept a motion to approve i make that motion I have a motion by mrs carter is there a second second I have a second by mr walks and have any discussion on the motion mr carter how do you vote yes mr walks and yes mr park Yes. And the sheriff she is. Okay. Resolution 2023-002. Uh, a resolution of the town of Walsall authorizing the implementation of the long-term and short-term objectives of the town of Walsall Community Development Plan. Uh, In the same situation? Yeah, let's talk about that one. I, I don't know what we just did, but is this one? On the short-term short objectives at the end, number one, it should say to apply for FFY 2022 slash 2023. So you've got your long-term objectives, one through six, mm -hmm. and then you've got your short-term objectives with the date on there to apply for FFY 2022, and it should be FFY 2022-2020, or yeah, that's 2023. Do you want me to read the whole thing with the clarification right. there? Uh, 20, 20, 20. Oh, right there, okay. Got and I got to correct the spelling of the park in that one too. Okay. I don't have to resign, but I'll come by one day and we don't need some weeks. Okay, just explain, just explain without, you don't have to read. The short term and long term means that this is, uh, this is our ideal for the town and this grant is going to help implement some of those ideas. One of the requirements for the grant is you have a community development plan or something in place, um, your comp plan with a community development plan. This allows you not to have to go through your own comp plan, make, but to just have your plan in place. Um, but it gives you long-term objectives associated with helping with moderate income and short-term objectives for, which is applying for grant funding to, to address the, the community and the need. Okay. Any questions on uh, resolution 2023-02? And uh, Billy, on this one, we're looking down at uh, under short-term objective uh, where it says Rogers Community Center Park. Uh, Margaret is going to click the correct spelling on that, and then she's also going to add uh, uh, dash 2023, just like we did on the other one, uh, on that first line of short-term objectives. If we pass that, that's what's going to be amended, okay? Okay, that's fine. Okay, what's the pleasure, Council? I'll make a motion and we go ahead and accept it. No. I have a motion by Mr. Park, is there a second? Second. We have a motion and a second in discussion on the motion. How you Mr. Park? Yes. Mr. Carter? Yes. Mr. Forks now? Yes. And the chair of the yes. All right, I only have one more item, which I should have added to the agenda. Sorry. Okay. Um, we went over the narrative. I just want to get approval from the board that, that, that what we're looking at doing, I know we made the changes to correct the spelling of Rogers and from hearing to hearing, but is that uh, narrative acceptable to the board? Just get a motion to look and submit it. Just have it for the record that we were submitting what you approved. I think it covers the things we've previously talked about, and and I'm sure that it covers. I, I don't think there's anything that we talked about on the ground with the engineer that just not on here. Is everything that 
Yeah, there's things on there that we talked about. Yeah, um, I, I don't see anything different. In that second paragraph, Bill, is where we're looking now on the, on the narrative that Mr. Fox went over earlier, where it, says, where it says service area one. I don't uh, think he has that. Huh? He don't, it's right here. He don't have that. Oh, okay, he don't have that. Did you, uh, let me just read to you a couple of lines here, and, and this is what we're talking about. Uh, the project proposed in this application is the construction of additional amenities which will enhance Rogers Community Center Town Park. The additional amenities include lighting, wiring, central heating, and central heating and air, bathrooms, kitchen, and handicap accessibility. And that includes the handicap, includes the ADA bathrooms and anything, uh, you know, uh, actually some parking and anything that's ADA. So, so has there any, have we discussed anything else that you recall to do at the park? No. Okay, then it says, okay, then it says additionally, we're proposing to dry in the existing open area uh, with, uh, as well as new parking, a gazebo, fencing, and signage. And, and much of that, Mr. Fox, Mr. Fox, if I get it wrong, much of that uh, depends on how far the money goes, doesn't it? Some of that, yeah, if, some yeah. of that depends on how far the money goes. If the price comes in too high, then what they can do is include, when you get to that point, if and when funded, um, when the engineer does the design, then they can do what they call deductive offering. That's where, if it comes in too high, then we take it to reduce the price based on the bid alternates or deductive alternates. And then the DEO would have to allow us to reduce the scope. Okay. But they've been open to it lately, but I can't guarantee it. Did you did you hear Mr. Hart? Did you hear? He said we we're, we're going to ask for all of this, and if it comes in higher than the grant, then we'll have some of those things will be listed as uh, deduction options. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Do you need a motion on? Yes, I need on the scope of work. Scope of work. Okay. Uh, do you share with a motion on the scope of work as presented in the narrative? I make that motion. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. We have a motion and second in discussion on the motion. Hey, Mr. Schwartz now? Yes. Mr. Carter? Yes. Mr. Carter? Yes. And the chair of the yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Do we need to talk about that? Maybe we're just adjourned. We just need to adjourn this. We need to adjourn this. That tells us, you know, we didn't have to vote on that. We just need to talk to it. Okay. And then send out a name. Uh, no other meeting, uh, no other business for the meeting of the public hearing and the uh, application uh, resolutions will stand adjourned.